Are computers follow recipes, period. Like, you tell this thing to add two plus two, it gives you four. You tell it to display a photo, it displays a photo. Simple cause and effect. For decades, our computers were basically very fast calculators following these pre-written recipes or code. But this thing, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, uh, and, um, th this. This thing, ChatGPT. This thing can look at any photo and tell you what's in it. it. It writes original poetry. It's not bad. I mean, it's not bad. You can have conversations that feel generally natural. Hey, ChatGPT, how's it going? Hey there. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Oh, totally, baby. Building a PC on camera adds a whole new level of pressure. I'd like you to be super sarcastic. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> Hey ChatGPT, do an Indian accent and talk about tech support. Welcome to tech support. My name is Akash. Were you surprised when he proposed to you? The whacked out part? Well, nobody programmed it to do those specific things. The machine learned how to do all of that by itself. So how do you build a machine that teaches itself abilities that nobody explicitly programmed? The answer involves copying the most sophisticated learning system we know, but we don't even really know how that works. So let's get smart about this nonsense. Okay, to understand AI, we need to go back and really understand the, the challenge that stumped researchers for decades. So it was like, it's 1950. We've got this British mathematician, Alan Turing. He's got this really smart question. Could a computer machine ever think like a human? Oh, human machine? You know, I like this guy. Well, how will we know if we succeeded, da? Huh? Well, we have someone chat with a human. Then we have someone chat with a machine. If we trick them, we did it. It's actually stupid simple. This elegant test, the Turing test, becomes the gold standard. Person types a question to two hidden respondents. One is human, one is computer. The ultimate test of machine intelligence. Now, for 70 years, researchers make steady progress. Look. Hi. Yes, I am well. How are you today? Well, all I said was, hi, that's gotta be a machine still. But each generation gets closer to natural conversation. There's Alice in 1995, then Smarter Child on AIM, Siri in 2011, each with better grammar, more context, smoother responses. But in 2022, ChatGPT goes crazy. Okay, uh, is cereal a soup? Technically, cold milk-based breakfast soup. Emotionally, it's cereal. Don't overthink it, dirt. Wait, I'm talking to a human, right? No, after seven decades of innovation, machines finally start passing the Turing test. Whoa. So what changed? How did AI learn? And how did it get so good? We don't really know, but, but this is how it works. Let's, let's figure it out together. So instead of trying to program intelligence, researchers decide to copy the only system we know that actually learns. The human brain. Your brain contains 86 billion of these neurons each connecting to thousands of others in this incredible network. When you learn something new, like tying your shoes, these connections strengthen or weaken based on experience. It's, it's nature's own learning algorithm. So computer scientists start creating artificial neural networks, mathematical versions of our biological learning systems. And instead of programming rules like those early computers, they built systems that could adjust their own connections based on examples. But here's the key insight that makes it all work. Just like a human being with your five senses walking through the world taking everything in for this to work with computers you need massive amounts of training data and i mean massive because what happens next is essentially the largest learning experiment in human history it's 2017 we're at google their research team launches this ambitious project we're going to show our new neural network every single thing humans have written ever. Yeah, Wikipedia, news articles, all of the books ever, forums, billions of web pages. The goal is simple. Learn to predict the next word in any sentence. I present to you AI. The cat sat on the Field. Oh, th not not quite. Try try Matt. We're learning. Matt, thank you. This process, the neural network learning right from wrong, repeats trillions of times. The cat sat on the 
Chair. Excellent. Pattern recognized. I'm starting to understand context, grammar, even nuance. Ha ha. After processing more text than humans could read in thousands of years, I can write stories, explain concepts, even engage in creative reasoning. This thing starts discovering patterns in language we didn't even know existed. Machine learning. Now, I don't know if you caught this, but this neural network massive amounts of training thing was really unexpected. Nobody explicitly taught AI how to write poetry. Nobody showed it how to write computer code. Nobody programmed it to solve complex math problems. Like, if you remember a year or two ago, did, ChatGPT didn't know, like, what the number two was. It, it couldn't do math for shit. But when the neural network reached a certain size and complexity, these skills just emerge. It can write an entire computer program from scratch. Also performs exceptionally well on health-related questions. It's so great to see how far we've come from that personality. It's called a emergent behavior. These sophisticated capabilities that just somehow emerge from like simple building blocks. It's like how your individual brain neurons can't think, but billions working together create consciousness. Small networks learn basic patterns. Medium networks master grammar and style. Large networks start demonstrating reasoning, creativity, and even humor. So I'm going to be interviewing at OpenAI. Have you heard of them? OpenAI? Huh? Sounds vaguely familiar. <laughs> Kidding, of course. <laughs> Turing test obliterated. This is kind of where we're at. Like, yes, AI is still just a sophisticated pattern matching system. It takes your sentence, the cat sat on the, starts combing through this vast neural network of all the possible words that could come next, and plops that in. But sometimes what it plops in completely surprises the people that built it. AI is gonna keep blowing our minds. <laughs> Oh, just a, a, a by the way, this entire video was written and directed by Claude AI. Did it pass the Turing test? Actually, wait, no. Post edit Henry here. This is fascinating. So let me... Uh, yes. Pull back the curtain a little bit. I basically go into Claude where I've uploaded all my old smart nonsense scripts, like the, the ones I've written. And I'm like, yo, look at all these things I've written. Now help me make a smart nonsense video about how AI actually works. And this thing just, boom, one shots it. It's like my instant writer that's super fat. Here, here's a real photo of me and Claude together. Ooh. Okay, so when it used to take me and a writer a couple weeks to go back and forth, argue a bit, and flesh out a long form video script, I mean, this is like eight minutes, start to finish. So yeah, kimono opened. Now this was so exciting to me, and I think this video turned out really great, so we reached out to Anthropic, Claude's mommy, to sponsor this whole video. So thanks to our friends at Anthropic for being cool with this. There's a free trial link in the description for you to try Claude out yourself. Okay, see you next week.